Hello everyone, this time around I'm here to talk about EK's fantastic lineup of fittings, because choosing the right fittings and tubing is almost equally important as choosing any other component for your liquid cooling loop. Plus, it's usually quite confusing to less experienced enthusiasts. And oh boy, the EK Quantum Torque lineup has a huge selection. First you must decide what do you prefer, because there are several sizes and types of fittings and tubing which make this subject very broad. It's important that you know all the possible choices of fittings, because they can have a big visual impact on the finished build. Fittings themselves are divided into two major categories. Soft tubing compression fittings and hard tubing compression fittings, or for short STC and HDC. Soft tubing compression fittings are marked with two numbers that state the inner diameter ID or outer diameter OD of the tubing that is compatible with the fitting. Both these number markings of the tubing must match the fitting and you are able to choose from 1013, 1016, 1216 sizes of soft tubing compression fittings. Hard tubing compression fittings are marked with only one number, which stands for the outer diameter or OD of the tube that can accommodate. The most common sizes for hard tubing compression fittings are 12, 14 and 16 mm. Fittings for hard tubing can also be a simple push-in type. Hard tubing push-in or HDP fittings have two fixed o-rings inside. You just have to push the tube inside the fitting and an airtight seal is made. These are engineered mainly for captive tubing as they are intended to be used between two GPU water blocks or from a GPU to the distro plate or similar situations where the tube is not able to move. Now let's check out more important fittings and adapters. Probably the most crucial adapter fittings are rotary angled adapters. We can distinguish two main types, the 90 degree and the 45 degree angle adapter fittings. These two are all rotary adapter fittings. Rotary fittings are the ones that can rotate. They have the base that gets screwed into the port and the top of the fitting can rotate a full circle. Often a huge help are static or fixed adapters or rotary adapters, the ones that can rotate. Static extenders can be really short, just 8 mm, or they can be up to 28 mm in length. Both fixed and rotary extenders come in versions that have male-female and male-male G1 quarter threads. Extenders and angled fittings can come in handy in any given situation. Their main role is to simplify the building process of the water cooling loop. Now that we covered the basics, let's continue to some new and fun fittings. Regular rotary 45 and 90 degree angled adapter fittings are limited to certain requirements and situations. They offer the needed flexibility when you're building your loop, whether you're using soft or hard tubing. But FF or double female adapter fittings can really be helpful when you're basing your loop on hard tubing. So for the first time we are introducing our brand new EK Quantum Torque 90 degree and 45 degree FF adapter fittings. Tight bands don't have to be tight anymore. Even with hard tubing, which has some advantages over soft tubing, you are restricted to a certain radius of bending. Now, by using FF angled adapter fittings, you are eliminating the radius of the band and therefore it becomes possible to make bends without bending. See what we did there? In the end, it often comes down to personal choice and aesthetics. The use of FF angled adapter fittings is not dictated only by your needs, it's something you can choose to make your build look special and distinctive. Another important thing I should mention is the drain valve. Yes, EK has a brand new drain valve. It has a cap to keep it nice and clean inside your build and it's operated with a simple sliding movement for opening and closing. It is smaller than the old ball valve and it has one male thread, so it can be installed anywhere directly without the need for additional adapters. As for other bits and pieces, we have new Torx style plugs. Well, actually, three of them. We have a really small one, which is a bit taller, so you have a nice grip on it. The bigger one is nice, stylish and flat, and we have one more, which is also flat 
and has a Allen key socket in it. Plus, it comes with an EK badge, which can be used to cover up the socket hole. We must not forget to mention a new, simple T-style splitter. And that is all I have to say about the world of EK Quantum Torque fittings. For now, because the next expansion is just around the corner. See you soon.